Section 7.2, Converse of the Pythagorean Theorem. Well, we learned in Section 7.1 that if we have a right triangle, where C is the hypotenuse, then A squared plus B squared equals C squared. The converse takes us the other direction. It tells us if A squared plus B squared equals C squared, then the triangle must be a right triangle. And we'll see that below. And this actually breaks apart into three theorems that we need to know. So in our picture, we have a triangle. We don't know whether it's right, acute, or obtuse. We just know it's a triangle. We are going to use it such that C is our longest side. So in our triangle, C is always the longest side. We find that if it happens that when we plug in these numbers, we see that a squ C squared actually equals A squared plus B squared, then our triangle has to be a right triangle. And that's because this angle, we'll n name it angle alpha, the measure of angle alpha is 90 degrees, making it a right triangle. The next theorem says, however, if we plug in these numbers and we find that C squared is actually greater than A squared plus B squared, that must mean that this angle alpha is greater than 90 degrees, making it an obtuse angle. So we have an obtuse triangle. The way to remember that is that greater than obtuse. Greater than obtuse because obtuse is greater than 90. Equal to is right because a right angle is equal to 90. Well lastly, and you probably guessed this already, we get C squared is less than A squared plus B squared. This tells us that our triangle is actually an acute triangle. Because this angle alpha is less than 90 degrees. So it's an acute angle giving us an acute triangle. So C squared being less than means acute because an acute angle is less than 90 degrees. What you notice is that this C value, this C squared value, really matters, and we have to make sure that we're using the largest side of the three for that C value. Let's look at an example. For the problems below, I want you to determine whether the given segment lengths form a triangle. If so, would the triangle be acute, right, or obtuse? You're given four problems. Go ahead, take a moment to work these out for yourself. When you're ready, resume the video and check your solutions.